Hey everyone! Let's say you have 10 devices at home, your phone, laptop, smart TV, all using private IP addresses like 192.168x.x. But here's the catch. Private IPs can't directly access the internet. So how are you watching YouTube, checking emails, or scrolling Instagram on those devices? The answer is NAT, Network Address Translation. NAT is a technique used by routers to translate private IPs into a public IP, so your internal devices can communicate with the outside world. Think of NAT as a receptionist. Inside the office, everyone has a name, but to outsiders, there's just one phone number. The receptionist takes the calls, figures out who it's for, and passes it along. Your router works the same way. How NAT works your device sends a request to a website using its private IP. Your router replaces that private IP with its public IP address. The website replies to your router's public IP, and the router then forwards the response back to your device. This all happens using something called a NAT table, where the router keeps track of who made which request. Types of NAT Static NAT Maps one private IP to one public IP often used for hosting servers. Dynamic NAT uses a pool of public IPs assigned as needed. And PAT, Port Address Translation, aka NAT Overload. This is the most common. Multiple private IPs share one public IP, differentiated by port numbers, used in almost every home router. Example, your phone may be 192.168.0.21234. Your laptop is 192.168.0.35678. But to the internet, both requests come from 203.0.113.5, your router's public IP. Quick recap. NAT translates private IPs into public IPs, allows multiple devices to share one internet-facing IP. Common in homes, offices, and enterprises. Without NAT, the entire internet would run out of IP addresses very quickly. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.